What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fortune Island in Forza Horizon 4. We're starting this off with the Ferrari 458 um, to get the second treasure, um, or at least the, the location for the second treasure. So it is the needle climb has been known to intimidate when set adrift an Italian 458. So basically we just have to jump in our 458 and come up to the needle climb here, which is just up the road. Look how many people are actively on it. Just absolutely amazing how active this still is. So we just have to do this drift zone in our Ferrari and we'll get that second clue there. So I haven't driven this Ferrari yet. Um, I actually didn't even have it in my garage. I had to go buy it. Um, and I also threw a tune on it. It's an all-wheel drive drift tune, so... Not the best at drifting, so we're just going to take any kind of handicap we can get. Probably should have done it the other way too, because we're going uphill, which is not ideal. You'd rather go down, I guess, because you'd be using less power, getting a little faster around the turns, but I guess this is working out pretty well so far. It's a pretty good tune. I'm just rocking back and forth. Ooh, I said it. said that and spoke too soon. Ended up backwards. All right, keep it going. These drift zones are a lot more forgiving than Horizon 3's. Horizon 3, if you made, or if you stopped at all, I thought I feel like they stopped counting your points. So we got a um, influence sign there, a bonus board, whatever it's called. We're, like, not even halfway up yet. We're a little over halfway up, probably, but... Doing decently well. I don't know what three stars is on this. This Ferrari is handling it very well. Again, most of it's going to be that tune. It was made for... I think it actually just said needle climb, so... It's probably made just for this drift zone. But it is handling it like a dream. I don't know that I've ever... I didn't spend too much time in Fortune Island, or at least on this drift zone when I played it on Xbox. But I don't know that I've ever done this good on the needle climb, especially for a first attempt. The first time driving a car. Bam. 340. We got three stars there. Hey Brandon. There we go. Perhaps I need to tell our riddle writing team to make these harder. Adding coordinates to your map. Come on, you still have to do the legwork. Alright, so. New location there. It's going to be way over there in the Giants Dolem. So we'll go over there, search for it, and see if we can't find that treasure real quick. Alright, so we're on the trail for the treasure, treasure chest. And we kicked out our... 1992 Ford Escort RS Cosworth. Because we're doing some rallying, so. I think it's gonna be at the top of this hill. I think. So, this is where we're gonna go try to look. There's a rainbow right there. Pretty neat. It's just really wet. up here first. They could have been it back then. I do not remember where it's at. But we also just need to drive this road for the discovery bonus anyway. So we're just driving up this mountain. This is one thing that's cool about Fortune Island. Oh, it's actually right here. Just seen it. So there you go. This is where it's at if you are trying to get it as well. You want to cheat. So bust that open. One million Horizon, more credits. Oh, and we got a Eurus. Nice. So we got two out of ten. So again, you can get ten million dollars just by upgrading every stage of Fortune Island. So pretty neat. Let me just drive through here real quick. I would assume that there's like a bonus board somewhere up here, right? And that's definitely gonna be a danger sign. Here there would have been a bonus board right in the middle there. But anyway. Seeing that we didn't get 
this little piece of the road completed, so. I don't know why that would be. There we go. Because we definitely just drove right on it. Oh, there's a bonus board up there. It's on that rock. That's interesting. So I guess you have to jump off to get that. Hmm. Alright. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the three different races. We're going to do, again, a cross country, a dirt series, and finish it off with a road racing series. So we're going to try out the... Um, do we have any cross country races or any dirt racing? Okay, here we go. We'll do the dirt racing first. This is actually going to get every bit of this road that we need anyway. So we'll fast travel over here. And we're just going to do it in our Ford Cosworth. Our Escort Cosworth is what I should say. So we'll go ahead and cliffside scramble. Alright, here we go. In our bright red Ford Escort Cosworth. So we got two laps. That's nice. That was by default. I did not change that. And it is a pretty big circuit it seems so I'm glad that there is some variation there depending on the circuit size we've got a pretty good mixed pack here it's up on the inside of the lancer now we're just fighting a 22b hard on the brakes so this is a proper rally stage a rally race Jorly Dirt. I'm pretty sure this is like where, yeah, the super duper edge of the mountain where it doesn't have a guardrail for the most part. It was there. I think it slowed us down. It would have been better if there wasn't one there. So we would have been able to cut that corner a little bit. Oh no. Oh, this thing's little. Thank you. Alright, Subaru helped us out there. Yeah, this is a... I wouldn't want to drive on this road. <laughs> Especially going on the speeds that we're going. I don't know about that. I don't know that I could handle 100 miles an hour. And jumping. On a cliff side. Let me know down below if you've ever... Or if you've played Fortune Island. If you think it's fun. Um, I had a lot of fun with the Lego Valley. Fortune Island. I remember playing it on Xbox. I don't remember too much about it. I didn't spend too much time here. I just kind of did it to get it completed and then went back to the main um, main island or main campus, whatever you want to call it, main map. Oh, wow. They were just piling up there. They did not come out of that dirt very well. Right, slow down. Let's get it under control. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what happened there to the drive towers, but yeah, let me know down below if you've played Fortune Island, if you've liked it, and what was your, what's your favorite Forza Horizon 4 map, I guess. What do you play most on? You play most in normal, um, you know, UK map, or do you find yourself being in Lego Valley more, or on Fortune Island more? I mean, there's a ton of people, as you saw at the beginning of the video, that are just on Fortune Island for the needle climb, I would imagine. Because, I mean, it's the drift road that everybody's wanted since Horizon has been a thing. But to me, that's just not enough to justify coming to the map. I'm not big on drifting, so... I kind of stayed away from it when I played through it last. But that might change, you know? As I maybe try to work on drifting, maybe I do come up and do the needle climb a lot more, or something along those lines, but... Definitely let me know down below what your experience with Fortune Island is and what your favorite Forza Horizon 4 map is. Let's so just drive along this treacherous stretch of road. Oh man. Keep it together. I think it's the worst part of it. So. Oh, I forgot about the jump. Never mind, it's not. Landed that very awkwardly, but we'll be fine. Just run against that barrier a little bit. Alright, I think we're out of the woods. We're out of the cliffs, if you want to call it that. As far as the bad part. 
Because we should be coming up to the, yeah, the turn where all the Drivatars lost their mind and just decided to ram into each other because they don't have a break coming over the hill, I imagine. Okay, that guy slowed down. I slowed down just to see. <laughs> They're doing it again. Oh, I'm gonna crash. Okay. They literally just slammed into each other again on that turn. That's funny. Alright, coming up on uh, the final stretch here. That was definitely a long race. Two minute and ten second lap times. That's crazy. But it's done. So now we'll go ahead and jump into a cross country event. Alright, here we go with the Lands Reach cross country event. We're in the Toyota Trophy Truck. And we're using a tune that was suggested in our Discord server. So let's see how it does here. This is definitely something I think would be fun to do. It would be just tune suggestions. And I can try them out. Or, you know, tune suggestions for others to, you know, do the trials and stuff like that. This is definitely what we want to house on our Discord server. So if you're not in the Discord server, there's a link down below if you want to join it. Um, it doesn't cost you anything. You know, you can just hang out there. You don't have to be active in it. Um, but, you know, it may be a good source for information. It may be a good source to find people to do the trial events and, you know, potentially just make new people or meet, make new friends that play and have an interest in Forza Horizon 4. So definitely go check that out. Also check out the Bomb Gaming Forza Club. Um, you can find that by searching the club section of the game and just going and searching for Bomb Gaming Forza Group. I'll put a little pop-up here um, just to show you, you know, exactly what to search for. Um, but definitely go join that. It's just another way to find people, you know, playing the game that, you know, are interested in it as well. So definitely go do that if you're not in a club or if you just want to be in a smaller club. A little more of a, you know, intimate setting instead of having 2,000 people that may not know you, you know. You can potentially join a club with, I think we have five right now, and, you know, you may know everybody in the club, so definitely go check that out. We want to build a community around the game, and that's just one of the tools that is built right into the game that makes that a little easier, so this tune is actually really good. Um, so thank you, Poseidon, for putting that in the Discord. It's definitely, it's a quick tune, and we're just leaving the Travitars in the dust. So it's top of S1, yeah, top of S1, it is the welcome pack trophy truck, but I'm assuming that you could probably find one that's just as good for the non-welcome pack um, Toyota T100 trophy truck, so there we go, cross the line, that is a cross country event completed, we are going to rank up here as far as the festival goes. Islands conquering and fortune hunting. It's round three I'll unlocked. The data for the Horizon cross country series as well, shall I? No Horizon. And we get a new mission, if riddle. If you choose to accept it, is to find the third treasure of Fortune Island. Listen up. A 65 wild horse blazed across the USA. Follow its trail at Viking Bay. Okay. So that's either going to be a Mustang or Bronco. So... We can check that out in the next episode. And while most of you are riddle solving and treasure hunting, some of you have made the cut Getting and more to date with events. The Conqueror round three. Good luck. So we got more events. While I'm here, and so you should probably know that I've asked Drift Rob Club 2.0. Like Drift Club to Fortune Island too. So we'll definitely take care of that we in a future episode. A few friends, which in Rob's case, I assume means cars. <laughs> All right, so we've got a lot of stuff to do. We're going to go ahead and jump in and do this Westwick Festival Circuit, and we'll jump in and find a car to do it in. All right, here we go. Jumping into the Westwick Festival Circuit. We are in a Lotus Elise. Throwing a tune on it. It's supposed to be top of A class, and it's supposed to be very good online. So let's see how it does against the Drivatars. I don't think it'll have much issue just driving it from the festival to... The event seems rather spunky, we'll call it. This thing is just a sweet little car. These things are light as can be. And so that makes them rather quick, even with a small engine, so. It's supposed to be pretty nimble as well. 
Kicking out a little bit. This rain is not helping our case. But we've got the NSX as we rear end it. And then we're going to go up on the inside and GTR turned into us for whatever reason. So up in the first place, one lap down, got two more to go. We just have to hold off and fight for this win. They're keeping up. That's good. I, I'm glad that they keep up in some of these races. Um, you know, some of the races are just ridiculous how slow they can be, I guess. I mean, like, the one Dirt Series race that we did, <clears throat> excuse me, at the beginning of the video where they literally just came over that hill, smacked right into that turn, or that wall coming around that last turn. is just a little wonky, but it's funny enough, I guess. Um, yeah. Looks like we're doing good. On our last lap. Yeah, we shouldn't have much of an issue, so. While we cruise to the finish line, I'll ask um, a question in, com or in the comments. Let me know down below. Are there any other like racing kind of games that you want to see me play? Um, I did do a series on Wreckfest. I did one on Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, the remastered one. I've thought about getting my EA Pro Play, or Play Pro, whatever they call it, subscription back to play Need for Speed again. Um, but I don't know. Is that something you guys would want to see? It was a lot of fun. It was a little frustrating of a game just because sometimes it was a little wonky. Um, but it was fun, and I see other YouTubers playing it right now, and I'm just like, oh, I should go back to it. But let me know down below what other games you want to see me play. Behind and off camera, behind the scenes and off camera, I play, you know, Call of Duty. I play Fortnite with my wife and my cousin and her boyfriend sometimes. Um, but let me know what you want to see. I'm not good at Call of Duty, really, and I'm not good at Fortnite. I just play socially, really, so, um... Prefer to keep the channel somewhat racing. Not saying that I won't ever go away from just racing, because I do like playing other games. Obviously, we played baseball for a bit. I'm playing that off screen or off camera, um, but stuff like that. Um, let me know down below if there's anything you want to see, and if we get enough comments or enough, you know, likes on a certain comment with a game, we'll definitely check it out. But. I hope you guys did enjoy, we'll go ahead and end the video there. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video. Uh, get subscribed if you want to stay tuned for more Fortune Island content. And we'll see you in the next video.